Expanding binomials, perfect squares and difference of perfect squares. There's two classes of binomial products that you have to recognise and um, they've got their own particular little tricks for expanding. So this is two examples of perfect square. A perfect square is just the result when we square any um, term or whole number. And so a plus b squared is a plus b times a plus b. It's a perfect square. If I want to expand that, you'd write it as a plus b, a plus b. Quite obviously, a plus b multiplied by a plus b. And we'll get a times a, a squared, a times b, b times a. Now b times a, if you remember, is the same as a times b, so I'm going to write a b. And b times b is b squared. The two terms in the middle, you'll see, work out identical. And when we gather those together, we get a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now this is a nice way to illustrate the expansion, but it's also our algebraic rule. And when you're expanding a perfect square, if you've got a plus b squared, then the rule is that you can go straight to the first term squared plus two lots of the first term times the second term plus the second term squared. So this is actually, you can go straight from question to answer with no other working required if you remember this rule. If you are at all likely to mess up, then rewrite the perfect square as two brackets, expand it and simplify. It's not worth messing up if you don't remember this rule. If we look at a minus b all squared, that would be a minus b, a minus b. We'll expand it out to see what happens. a times a, we still get a squared. a times negative b, negative ab. Negative b times a, we can rearrange to get negative ab. Negative b times negative b, please remember a negative times a negative is positive, I get plus b squared. So I still get the two identical terms in the middle. So it's still a squared, but it's minus 2ab plus b squared. So if you have a perfect square that has a negative term, then this is your rule. The other thing that we have is, oh, now before I get too carried away with difference of perfect squares, here is a perfect squares dead fairy warning. Here is your official dead fairy. A dead fairy warning, of course, being, I have told you that this mistake is likely to happen and that it is wrong. Do not make this mistake. We have learnt in the past the index law power of powers, whereas if I have a times b in brackets squared, then power of a product means that would be a squared times b squared. That is the power of a product times. This is the power of a sum plus. The same rule does not work. If you see a plus b squared and you write a squared plus b squared, you are wrong. Do not do this. I will draw a dead fairy on your test to say you made a mistake that I told you you were likely to make. This is not okay. The index law, power of powers, works for times, for a product or of course for a division, a quotient. It does not work for a sum with plus or minus in the brackets because we just demonstrated 
that when you expand it properly, we get this, not this. Do not make this mistake. Moving on to difference of perfect squares. So this would be perfect squares, except that one's plus and one's minus. And when we get the answer, you'll see why it's a difference of perfect squares. Let's expand it. A times A is A squared. A times negative B, negative AB. B times A plus AB. B times negative B, negative B squared. You'll see we don't end up with exactly the same terms. We end up with the same terms, but one's negative and one's positive, and they cancel out. Plus AB minus AB is zero. What I'm left with is a squared minus b squared. And that is a difference of two perfect squares. So when you have a plus b, a minus b, the same terms in the brackets, but one's plus and one's minus, you will get the first term squared minus the second term squared as your answer. And again, if you recognize that this is a difference of perfect squares, you can go straight to the answer. If you don't recognize it, it's always safest just to do the full expansion and make sure you get the right answer. So I'm going to do some of these by referring to the rule and some of them by proper expanding because I don't mind which one you do as long as you get it right. So we'll start with this one and we'll use the rule. This is a perfect square and my rule says it's a minus b squared x minus 2 squared a squared the first term squared x squared minus two lots of the first term times the second term. So I've got x times 2, that's 2x. Two, 2 lots of 2x is 4x and it's negative. Negative 4x, so I've got x squared minus 4x. And then the second term squared, but minus 2 times minus 2 will give me plus 4. If you're not sure on that, do it again by expanding x minus 2, x minus 2. x times x is x squared, x times negative 2, negative 2x. Negative 2 times x, take away another 2x. Negative 2 times negative 2, plus 4. I get x squared minus 4x plus 4. Same answer either way. I don't mind which method you use. I do mind if you get it wrong. If you're not sure, use this method. You're less likely to get it wrong. So this one, we could expand with two brackets, or we could use the rule. I'll expand this one with two brackets. So two copies of the bracket. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. 2x times 3 is 6x, oops, plus 6x. 3 times 2x, remember because it's perfect squares, these will always be the same, 6x. 3 times 3, be very careful. You've just been writing 6 a lot, don't write 6, it's 9. And then gather your like terms. 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 x plus 2, x minus 2. This is a difference of perfect squares. Same terms, different signs. We'll use the rule for this one. A difference of perfect squares will be the square of the first term, x squared, minus the square of the second term, 2 squared is 4. If you weren't sure how I got it, just expand it out. The last one, another difference of perfect squares, but we'll expand it out rather than using the rule. 3x times 3x is 9x squared. 3x times 2y plus 
6xy. Negative 2y times 3x minus 6xy. 2y times 2y, sorry, negative 2y times 2y is negative 4y squared. These are my like terms, plus 6xy minus 6xy, they cancel out 9x squared minus 4y squared. We see we got an answer, which was a perfect square, 3 squared, x squared, 2 squared, y squared, and the difference, because subtracting is a difference, so this is a difference of perfect squares.